Returning to many homes this Christmas is the elf on the shelf, Santa's little extortionist. <laughs> Unfortunately, the elf on the shelf finds himself in hot cider this week. Joining us now to discuss is the Beaverton's own Christmas enthusiast, Aisha Brown. Hey, thanks for having me. Aisha, can you shed some light on this controversy? You bet, Miguel. The beloved holiday snitch, known as Elf on the Shelf, has been racially profiling black children. Oh. Now, Aisha, as a lover of the holidays and former black child yourself, do you think this means the Elf is a racist? To be clear, Emma, the Elf on the Shelf is a network of millions of elves. They are no more racist than your average majority white organization with zero oversight. Hmm. Is there any data available to support these claims of profiling? Yes. Despite black children being less than 10% of the names on Santa's roster, they make up like 76% of the names on the naughty list. Hmm. This is kind of like if 80% of NHL players put in the penalty box were P.K. Subban. <laughs> So what is it that you think is at play here? It seems like the elves are just filtering black-sounding names to the naughty list. I mean, there's like three Maliks for every Milo on the list, which is absurd when you take into account that all Milos are inherently evil. Yes, name profiling is very real. My name on my old CV is Michael Rivers. Yes, and mine is still Sarah Pauly. <laughs> now, Aisha, what are the overt tactics, or are there any, the elves are using to oppress black children? Oh, other than disproportionately Christmas carding black kids, well, they also love to call Santa on kids for Christmasing while black. I mean, look at some of the infractions that can get a kid enlisted. Oh, please tell me you're saying naughty listed. Here's a list oh. of <laughs> harmless activities that are now classified as misbehaving, like decorating with a hoodie, or uh, listening to Christmas raps, or watching a Medea Christmas. None of those seem remotely bad, except for the last one. But Aisha, don't white kids do this stuff too? Yes, but these acts are only documented as mischievous when it's done by a kid who's considered urban, even when they live in Kitchener. <laughs> Aisha, when it comes to these profiling elves, are we just talking about a few bad candied apples here, or...? Mm, unfortunately, this is systemic, but we've seen a lot less profiling since they started turning on their little body cams. 